Coming to the end of 2013, um, would it be fair to say it's kind of been a year to forget for yourself? Yeah, it's probably been the uh, last 15 months to forget, to be honest. I've not, I've not fought since October of last year, um, so it's been frustrating. Uh, I've had all sorts of emotions go through my head, you know. You know, is it every time I'm thinking about me and is it going to be all right again? Am I ever going to get to box again? Uh, emotionally, it's very strenuous, and in everyday life, it's hard for me uh, to come by because, you know, all the time I'm thinking about me and you know, I obviously I obviously work as well, uh, and I'm at work. I don't really want to be there. You know, it's not something I particularly would love to do throughout my life. You know, I want to be a boxer. Uh, I want to make my life of being a boxer, and then I get the hand injury and it sets me back and. At the moment, it seems to be one thing after another, yeah, so in other words, yeah, I'd like to forget it. But it could make me better as a fighter, stronger mentally, you know, that's the way I'm going to look at it from now often. Uh, everybody has their ups and downs, and I've seen pictures of the success thing as it's all curly and wavy, it's never straight. So I'm taking that as a positive, and I'm hoping to come back stronger in uh, 2014. When do you expect to be out? I mean, there's talk about maybe a January or February date? Yeah, I mean, we're looking at most likely probably middle of February. Um, and when I come back, I'm going to come back strong, uh, fit. Uh, I don't see. I don't. Everybody in my weight division now is, is coming of age. You know, the older ones, you've got Colin Lyons, you know, uh, Craig Watson. You know, they're all they're all going a bit old now and not not around as much. And it seems to me that it's my age generation that's coming through and pushing through the rankings and pushing the older ones out. So I think 2014, 2015 is going to be. Uh, my generation and probably my, my year to uh, progress. We were looking initially at maybe something after, say, a couple of fights to get back in it, maybe a central area title, say, next summer? Yeah, definitely. I want two fights warm up, not against journeymen, that's for a start. You know, I'm not going to be fighting any journeymen on my first, uh, first fights back, no matter what. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go in there with someone in the top ten straight away because it's a bit daft for me to do so. Uh, I've got the right team around me that are going to advise me on what to do properly. I'm going to come in, I'm going to hope to look good, I'm going to train hard, uh, make sure my hands are 100% and I'm going to show everybody what I can do. Now, you've been with Ricky for quite a while now, you were actually his first um, boxer as a professional trainer. How you find it? Still love it as much as ever? Still love boxing. I love boxing, you know. Uh, my whole life evolves around boxing. I love it. I watch it on telly pretty much every day. Um, you know, I go down to my, my local club, Kirkham, advise, you know, young children uh, on what to do and, you know, just trying to give them a little bit back. Uh, I was up in Hatton Gym on Sunday just bringing a girl up from Kirkham up just so she could do the girls' camp, you know. And people did it for me and I was very fortunate that I had my family around me that could take me places and I'm willing to do it for other people, you know, that are young and coming through that I don't mind doing it at all. Now, going back to your career, which is... So it's going to be a case of kicking on in 2014. We aren't thinking too far ahead. Is there any names out there that uh, are on your hit list or is it a case of just who comes and uh, be ready? I'm not bothered. Whoever, whoever wants to fight me, I'm happy. Uh, like I said, I've got a good team. We're going we're gonna to talk about it and we're going to go down the right route. But there's absolutely nobody in this country that, that I'm afraid of. Nobody, and I, I'll, I'll beat them, no doubt. I, have, I've, I don't want to come across as you know overconfident and talking daft, but everybody in boxing's got to be confident in their abilities, otherwise you're lost before you get in there. You know, I've got the right team. I've got Ricky. You know, we're gonna we're gonna look through strategies and different ways about boxing certain people, uh, and we will apply them when I fight. And um, mentally and physically, I've I've got the right mood, and I I don't think I'll beat everybody. You said a lot about your character the last 12 months as well. You know, a lot of boxers, they get their head down. And we've seen, um, without mentioning their names, we've seen boxers sort of around this, this area where they've had a few injuries and they thought, oh, well, sod this. Mm -hmm. You think it shows a lot about your character that you've stuck in, you've kept training despite the injuries mm -hmm. and that you're still determined to uh, go out there and do something? Yeah. The good thing about me is probably my age. You know, I'm only 22. I've got all the time in the world. Some people don't and, you know, they think it's the end of the world when they get an injury. Uh, but for me, it's going to make me better. It's going to make me stronger mentally, uh, and I feel it's going to make me train harder than ever because I want it more than ever now. You know, before it can come as a bit easy. You know, I've, I could just come down to the gym and train hard. Yeah, and you know, it comes as everyday life. Whereas now, I've had 15 months out, and I probably had the 15 months hardest in my life. So now it's up to me to come back, come back stronger, uh, and take over. Excellent. Well, good luck next year. Thank you very much. Cheers.